Good morning. It's morning? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And this is Memorial Day. It, it feels like midnight. Where are you? You need glasses or... Australia. Time. Okay. Time machine. Time machine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. So, obviously there are people here with us. There are pickles here with us. <laughs> this is Nicole and Phil Pickle. And it is Memorial Day. And Phil, you are... What is your title? What are you? Human? <laughs> Sometimes. Uh... I have coffee, so. <laughs> uh, Chief Petty Officer Philip Pickle. All right, and you are with the Navy? Yes. Yes, thank you for your service. Yes, we wanted to wake you up this morning, bring you coffee, just to say thank you, and ask you some <laughs> Put questions. Put you on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> spot on it. Spot on you, yes. But we. this was actually Tim's idea. I thought it was a great idea uh, to, to have, interview. I have him sometimes. You do, it's great, <laughs> to interview a military family. Um, about marriage because I, I admire you both. I think you guys have a great marriage. You guys are clearly very in, much in love. And how long have you been married? 14 years. 14 years. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Got awesome. it wrong. Right. <laughs> how many times don't have get you been... out of the oh, screen I'm sorry, there too yeah. much. <laughs> how, how many times have you been deployed in your marriage? Are you going to count when we were engaged? Yeah, probably, yeah, sure. Probably four. Four? And that, what was the longest? Seven months. Seven months. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. Yeah. Well, there's people who do a lot longer. They do. So. Yes. We yeah, haven't done a year one. yet because we've had some friends that have done a year and that's rough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. So during that seven months, how did you keep your marriage alive? Uh, communicate as much as possible. Mm. Um, Which is saying a lot for him more than me because me, I'm home a lot, but when he's on the go and working really hard, sometimes it's sacrificing sleep. He's woken up in the middle of the night to call me on special occasions when the time difference was really big. Mm. So. Wow. Did you set an alarm for that? Sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it helps to have the breakaway and have the intimate personal conversations when you can, too. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds like you really have to be intentional. Because oh, yes. Absolutely. Otherwise, the, it's not going <clears> to <throat> just happen by itself. Automatically, yeah. everybody's talking about it you know, a holiday or whatever, you really have to remember those days and be intentional about it. Yeah, yeah. especially because, like, things like Mother's Day, they don't celebrate it when they're gone, mm -hmm. you know, so it's him setting the alarm, him making sure this is a special day for them, so I'm going to make sure that I make it a priority to call that day. Mm -hmm. So. And are you the one, she can't call you, so you're the one no. that has to initiate out? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, as long, awesome, as, as long as he's out in the military stuff somewhere, but if he's just in a different place and has a cell phone, then I can call him. Okay. As long as he's not on a ship, because it doesn't really connect down in the belly of the ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But for the most part, yes, call me. I can email him whenever I want. But... Cool. Yeah? Okay. So, what advice do you have for a newly engaged couple? They're going to get married, and then he's going to be deployed. What are the things that you could tell him and her? So I was, I was just having a conversation with one of my junior guys last week about this very thing, about marriage is, is hard already. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a decision every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. Mm. Depending uh, on the day. <laughs> depending on the day. It's a decision that you make. You, that, like you said, it doesn't just happen. You don't just wake up next to somebody and it's flowers and butterflies and, mm. and uh, what have you. It's even more difficult, military or anyone that travels for their work, it's even more difficult when you've got somebody that's constantly coming and going. Uh, you come home, you try your hardest to reconnect, and then you get ready to go out and do it again. So, uh, for me, I think it's, it's being intentional, like we said. It's making sure that you put your focus on your your spouse and your relationship. Um, in the in the military, we have uh, an affectionate term for uh, for we call them Jody. It's the the person who's behind that could possibly you know be spending time with your spouse when you're not there. Trying to scoop up what you've left behind. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. So. That's not an I, affectionate name. It is. Well, <laughs> it could be a lot, could have called a lot worse. <laughs> it's a PC name. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Interesting. And I, I would say to the to the young uh, 
military members or those personnel that are going to be traveling, um, don't listen to it too much. Mm. You know, if uh, obviously be be cognizant of your relationship, but don't worry too much. Because you worry too much, it creates arguments and creates strife, and mm. then you sit worried and paranoid the whole time that you're gone and it feeds into your work and takes away from everything else and then you're accusatory every time that you call and mm. you you find reasons to question your spouse's motives and what have you and it's unhealthy it's not something that you want to get into it's not a practice that you want to do so um, all joking aside focus on the strengths of your marriage focus on the strengths of your relationship and helping to reaffirm and reestablish uh, you're both doing a great job you're both doing everything that you possibly can to make it work and to uh, love on each other as best as possible I love that that's great advice so that brings up the question of how can your spouse at home reiterate the non jodiness well I think it's understanding that it will always be a worry that even in the back of the mind and so anytime there's any like there's something to be said for any marriage but particularly one that the spouse comes and goes about being really careful not going to a meal with a male person by yourself you know just being, guarding your heart and guarding the stuff that's going on inside of you to make sure that there's no question. Really, really no question. Like you're not towing the line and just really, you're really guarding and protecting yourself for your spouse. Um, even when they're not there to be physically in front of you. And uh, there's, I don't know, reminding them, knowing that it's, pro they're, even if they're not saying it, they're probably thinking it, just so you know, I'm yours. There's nothing ever going to be going on. I mean, with three kids at home, I, I don't have enough, at the end of the day, I don't <laughs> have enough energy to even consider that. But all, yeah. just, just so you know, we're, we're, we're good. I'm, I'm here waiting. I'm really eager for you to be home, even if it's the day after you left. Like, you're missed here. The assurance. All yeah, the time. your Constant your place assurance. is here. There's a place still held for you here. So one is it, it is that. possible and okay to flirt from a distance with each other. With each other, <laughs> right? <laughs> I was like, what? With, with <laughs> Email and texts and phone calls. Yeah, Skype, I love that. Whatever it is, yeah. it is possible. Mm -hmm. It's just try and keep it as playful as you can, yeah. even when it's hard. Try and I would say my advice would be to do your best to stay on the same team because it <clears throat> I think a lot of the marriages that we've seen that haven't made it military wise they slowly slowly become opponents mm -hmm. mm. who are fighting for their whatever yeah instead of trying to work together to make this beautiful thing happen and last for your whole lives because military is not your whole life mm -hmm. it's That's what we're good. doing now and it's what we've done since we got married but yeah it's not it's not going to be forever at some point he'll drop the uniform and grow the beard <laughs> <laughs> that he's been talking about for <coughs> years now but that's good that that's a good reminder too that it is not forever this is yeah. forever for as long right. as you both are alive yep. and you know that that's not forever it's for mm -hmm. a seasons for a time so that's important to remember yeah. you know but it's also yeah. important to make sure to sustain things through that because for us who are planning on retiring it's been a long time yeah <laughs> so yeah you guys have amazing years. amazing consideration for one another that's yeah just really what it is you consider each other all of the time yeah. when you're together and when you're apart and that we were helps just talking with about the, that last night actually yeah so. that helps with the being on the same team instead of the battle because you're mm -hmm. always in consideration and you're always living above reproach so exactly. while he's fighting for our freedom you're fighting for your marriage exactly. so you guys are both yeah. warriors and it's awesome we really respect you and love you guys oh yeah. thanks yeah thank you for doing this yeah thank yeah. you so I much appreciate it I'm, I'm it's the sun she's gonna cry so <laughs> Okay. All, All right. right. Well, thank you for joining us today. Happy Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Thank you to Phil and Nicole and hope you guys have a great, beautiful, sunny day. Yay. Bye. Bye.